If you're using a current Valent Ecotech boiler uh, and you're looking to uh, find the flow temperature and the return temperature as well, you can do that on here just by pressing these two buttons to light up the display. Press them again together and that enters into this menu. Press the plus button here to move down the menu until you reach installer level. Press select. Move this code up to number 17. Press OK, and then move down this list until you find Diagnostics menu, and then press Select. And then you get a list of uh, diagnostic, set, diagnostic information for the boiler, and uh, there are loads of these, so you want to scroll up to, I think it's number 39, so you can press and hold. You're looking at this top left-hand number there, D39. So there's loads of these you can check out, but... Um, uh, so, no, number 14. So there we go, we've got flow temperature currently showing as 61. And then if we move up, we've got return temperature, actual value 46. So there we go. And if we flick between D40 and D41, that shows us our flow and return temperature. There are also some other interesting things on there here as well. If we go up to number 71 here, D71, these are actually selectable values and you can change the max heating target flow temperature. So by default, it's set to 75 degrees on this boiler, but I think these boilers will support it up to 85 Celsius as well. Don't know whether you should change that, no idea. This is just information only. And uh, equally, if we move back down the list again, you can find your flow rate in liters per minute for hot water, which is nice to see sometimes because if you know that, for example, if you're running a shower or whatever and your flow rate's at, I don't know, just like 60% of the potential boiler capacity, then you know you have a ton of headroom for either extra hot water or just other hot water being run somewhere else without it potentially affecting the, um, the, the, the shower pressure, you know, assuming the pressure's okay. I don't know, stuff like that's sort of really useful. Nice information to have. So yeah, that's um, the hot water flow rate there. In fact, I'll quickly go and turn the hot water on just to show you that in action. There we go, you can see it's jumped up straight away to 8.17 liters. Let me just put this on full. There we go, and now up to 12.17. 92 liters per minute that's with the hot tap running on full at the moment so it's an immediate response shows up straight away on the, on the display and then to get out of it just press back back and back and you're back to the main menu that shows your current temperature